Pine Competition 2016, we made some incredible decisions. And I think for the most part, we saw beautiful pieces uh, to differentiate between some of the techniques. Uh, the ultimate piece, I think, is that composite. It took all the elements, it took the foil stamping, it took any kind of a finishing or a pre-press technique and put it all in one gorgeous piece. Outstanding competition, fierce competition in many categories. The best of show really is the best of show. It had everything. The kitchen sink was thrown at it. A really challenging job for the printer. It had French folds. It had uh, embossing, gold foil, uh, great vibrancy in the ink, uh, die cutting, you name it. Anything that you could think that you would want in a project, it was there. So I think some of the other decisions we made, and again we see the digital world and the offset world you know, on a collision course. And uh, it's amazing some of the post-press techniques and a combination of both the offset and the digital, and we saw a lot of those pieces as well. Uh, so we're not seeing anything being diminished. They said, if anything, it's more creative and people are using their imaginations. And I think the designers and the printers is just my guess at that synergy really coming together and doing their work ahead of time to produce that piece. We're seeing the right stuff printed on the right kind of paper. And this year was an uncoated substrate, yeah, predominantly. Exactly what I was going to say. We've seen more this year on uncoated than uncoated, which has been the trend for a number of years. But there seem to be more entries on uncoated this year in this competition than we've seen in the past. So really, really great work. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to all everybody. Participants. All participants deserve a pinnacle. Unfortunately, we can't award one to each and every entry, but it was a great competition. Thank you for letting us be your judges.